Henry High School is reinstating two 11th grade honors classes that were cut by the principal after hearing concerns from students and parents alike. Elizabeth Alvarez is live at the school in San Carlos with more details on that discussion and bringing back two courses. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz. Hi guys, good morning. Yeah, those two courses that they're bringing back, they're honors courses for 11th grade students. We're talking U.S. history and American literature. The announcement came down yesterday, uh, right before the school district held its board meeting. There was a huge protest right outside of San Diego Unified School District headquarters. But we have an email that was sent out to families at Patrick Henry High School yesterday from the principal. Principal Michelle Irwin, who had eliminated the classes for next year without telling parents and students. It was a situation that sparked a lot of outrage among parents and students. The principal states in the email, quote, we will continue to offer our current series of honors and AP courses. In addition, we are excited to announce that Patrick Henry will participate in a district pilot of honors for all course options in grades 9th and 10th to offer more opportunities for our students to earn weighted credit. Now, keep in mind that uh, this email that was sent to families yesterday was after the district held two Zoom ma meetings uh, with the community, with the families, after the outrage, after the principal had already cut the eight classes. As we reported, the principal had made that decision to cut the classes to eliminate, she said, the stigma of non-weighted courses and provide a well-balanced course offering for all students. But families, of course, as we've been reporting the last couple of weeks, uh, did not agree with the reasoning and the move, uh, saying that basically equality doesn't mean giving everyone the same thing. It, it, it means giving everyone the same opportunity or the same access. So uh, also in yesterday's email, the uh, principal did apologize to parents who interpreted the elimination of courses as lowering the academic standards for students, which this morning uh, and even late yesterday after the school board meeting and after the families uh, learned that at least two uh, honor courses were coming back, uh, families stay, say, uh, you know, basically stated that at the end of the day, they still felt that the decision to cut those classes and the move in which uh, it, the reasons behind it, it did exactly that, uh, you know, depriving students of that opportunity or of that access to uh, be involved in these honors or AP classes. Because at the end of the day, um, if you're a parent, uh, you know or you, will, you begin to learn quite very quickly that a lot of times to get into college, uh, these honors and AP classes are so crucial because it's the ability it has it gives the, your child the opportunity to increase his or her GPA and in with these the AP classes especially uh, if your student takes an AP class and passes uh, gets a certain score you're actually uh, awarded college credit in so many so many cases so um, that is basically bringing you up to speed to what happened yesterday. Uh, so far, two honor classes, honors classes are coming back uh, for 11th grade students. As far as the other cl six classes that were eliminated, uh, no word yet from the district uh, on whether or not those classes will come back. But now they're focused on this new pilot program called Honors for All. And as we go along here, we'll learn more about exactly how does this pilot program work. Honors for All. What does that mean for these ninth and 10th graders? And, and Liz, I understand next month there will be a, a parent and student meeting, conference to kind of explain what's happening. And is that going to explain what this pilot program will, will be and what Honors for All means? Yeah, well, that's the expectation because uh, following up with uh, after the, the initial Im email was sent to families from the principal, Principal Irwin, uh, that was uh, f followed up with an email sent with the area superintendent uh, who, again, uh, you know, uh, apologized for the confusion and uh, basically compiled the list of concerns based on those two Zoom interviews, yeah. uh, community input that the district had gotten over the course of the last few weeks. Uh, so, you know, his commitment uh, his commitment is, yes, to move forward in including the community, including their concerns, and not only including but addressing, and yes, to learn more about what this honors for all initiative really means.
especially for the younger kids, the ninth and tenth graders. Well, at least it sounds like there was some some understanding and listening to the outrage and concern, and there will be some discourse moving forward, which is good. Yeah, one you know, one parent described it as a partial victory, yeah. a partial victory because you know their voices were heard. They did. Uh, you know, principal did it essentially reverse the decision, brought back two of those courses. Um, but yeah, a lot of folks this morning, uh, unfortunately, in such a wicked rush to get the kids to school, um, no one really wanted to talk on camera. They waved to us. Uh, I had one parent tell us, you know, thank you for covering it. Um, but we'll continue to talk about this because this is the beginning of a new pilot program that now begins to roll out.